Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back today with more baseball cards. This time, uh, this is from the, the, the big giant collection that Polly Packs and I bought. So Polly's right here with me. Hey, guys. And we went through, there were a lot of like what we'll call pretty common heavy boxes. Yeah. That I didn't feel like it was worth anyone's time to sit and watch us go through random. It wasn't cards. worth our time to go through. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about this in terms of, you know, like, we, we, I open packs here all the time, and like we even stuff that you know, like ninety one Donruss. We open up the pack and like, oh, there's a Griffey, whatever it was. You think about ninety one Donruss, but take all the good cards out. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what it felt like. An with endless a lot of sea of common <laughs> cards. So let me just show you a few of the things I did get that we were excited about. Got a nice big stack of nineteen ninety one tops. Why do you care about that? Well, if you've been watching my previous videos, I'm doing it like a study almost because there's all the glowback talk about glowbacks and there are actually like six different backs of these cards that i found and so i'm trying to get uh to a large enough volume where i can make some hypotheses about are glowbacks rare are they interesting is there anything going on with them so excited to add that to uh to that so stay tuned for that video sometime soon uh this was a definitely a four sport mix four sport plus we'll call it yeah <laughs> um so we have some random things like hockey cards that um that we pulled out some names that we knew, but Paul, Paul and I were like, I don't know what's going on here. So, uh, and then also some basketball, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we always like to look at things that are pre 1985, so pre 1984. So we got a, a handful of those. Um, nothing really exciting, but a weird mix of things. You guys know that I love uh, Ryan Sandberg, Sean Dunstan, Nolan Ryan, Mark Grace. So I got some some of those guys here. See, oh, also B.J. Mm -hmm. Armstrong, an Iowa guy. Um, so number number of those to add in my collection. A couple of weird ones like this starting lineup one for. <laughs> Too bad he didn't Ryan put Sandberg. the figurine in there with it too. <laughs> exactly. Um, then we got you know some some like inserts and like a bunch of tops gold for instance. So I pulled all the tops gold out of here, so we can have a nice stack of tops gold. I know Paul's always looking for tops gold because he was so <laughs> jilted after that 1992 right. tops gold debacle. There's got to be a way that you can find them out. I'm convinced. This whole stack here is like stars and Hall of Famers and some semi-stars and stuff. This on top is a Trevor Hoffman rookie, which I th thought was really good. Uh, Paul pulled this one out, which is, you say, oh, Ben, it's a 1988 Tony Fernandez, which you are right, except for it's Topps Tiffany. And I've actually never held or owned a Topps Tiffany. Uh, yeah, super glossy. It was weird. Like, just to feel it, it felt differently. So that's why I was... I'm actually a little concerned that I might have missed a bunch of these... Uh, <laughs> Thinking they were I don't know. It tops. stands out so much that I think, like, if you looked at, it, like, as soon as you touch it, like, you're like, this is this is different. And I did confirm, like, it's definitely glossy. Um, it's also really well centered and cut. The back is the dead giveaway about how bright it is. And then I did look up. You can see there's a star right there on the uh, copyright, an asterisk there that indicates the top Tiffany. Um, some more weird things before I hand it over to Paul to show it. Well, there's some of the things he got. Uh, we have this Olympic card set. Do you, do you know what year this was? Was it 92? 91, 92? It had to, yeah, not be 92, right? Because 91, they didn't have you. Yeah, so um, we have the, the table tennis master, <laughs> Daniel C. Miller. <laughs> Love those shorts. Or the shorts you can find. Nice, nice shorts. We do have some 1991 Desert Storm cards, which... My, I mean, my favorite war, yeah. Definitely. If you're looking for... <laughs> it just seems so... I mean, I remember these happening and coming out and... Actually, I probably had some of these as a kid, but like, it just seems really off-putting and wrong to say, hey, let's glorify a war with trading cards. Wars don't fund themselves. You know, you got to make trading <laughs> cards, get some, generate some income. Speaking of random trading cards, we have a whole stack here of what I think turned out to be SNL Saturday Night Live <laughs> trading cards, including this uh, awesome Chippendales one of Chris Farley. There's Chris Farley again, pretending to be Tom Barr. Um, so can't wait to fig to look through these a little bit. I saw some there's a you know the original kind of original cast with Belushi and Aykroyd and all those guys. So another strange set that I didn't know existed. Um, it would be awesome if he had the if if he had the Patrick Swayze card with it. Oh he was like yeah, standing next to him that would have been perfect. We also got some really weird random cards like like John Lennon <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Simple Minds or U two if you're into that. There's U2. Before Bono started wearing sunglasses, there's Madonna. Nice. It's not a Madonna rookie, though. That's in her yeah, second that's, phase. It's a Vogue phase. That's the something veteran. Young MC. Um, so, yeah, th that was kind of weird. What was the first one you found? It was, there's oh, there's the Warrant. What's the first AC one? DC, Skid Row. Uh, where was it? Nelson. Yeah, Nelson, right there. The Nelson brothers. Plus, 
the model Rick Martel, WWF. Um, just, a, I mean, so random. One of the things we kind of decided, though, and figured out, it seemed like a kid's collection is what I mentioned before. Well, guess what, folks? <laughs> we have the kid. This picture was embedded within these cards. I'm guessing that that's probably some 9 or 10-year-old kid right there with his mom or somebody. And this was probably his collection back in the day, in the, er, in the early 90s. So... So we're gonna hunt him down and ask him what the heck. If was he you doing? recognize <laughs> this child or mother, please yeah. let us know. Yeah. I would love to find out what he was thinking when he put this collection together because it makes no sense. It is a hodgepodge. Uh, Paul, what, what do you want to highlight in here? Uh, just so that, keep it with the kid theme. I think you know what. To be honest, I think we all tried this <laughs> when we were younger, right? <laughs> Clearly, uh, unauthenticated uh, <laughs> autographs that this kid, I think, tried to forge. And then here we had the two Jeff Conines, but one he clearly tried to... With a ballpoint. Yeah, with a ballpoint pen just ripping into the card. So, <laughs> that I've, I have to admit, we've all tried to do that, right? You get the kid who could write real fancy and try to do it. The other thing that I thought was funny was uh, this guy's rookie card here. Um, what's his name? Jim... Is it... I can't... Mc, McIlvain? McIlvain. But he's got... He's got Shaquille O'Neal in it so <laughs> wondering if that has any sort of value putting Shaquille O'Neal in with him but uh the other thing is too is like talking about random sets right we got some racing cards in there I know those some people really like those and then more uh we got some more golf in there uh this card was pretty unique too it's a Jimmy Fox um this now I know Fleer used to do this for in 1968 with the um, all the World Series going back and doing it, but this one is a 1972 Fleer, and then uh, but it's a long card, like one of the top big cards, almost the same size as that, and it's featuring just famous feats, and this one is Jimmy Fox, so that's pretty funky, pretty rare. And this I have no idea what this is. This is like obviously a Coca Cola thing, but with uh, with the NFL, this is Shane Colon. I don't, I don't know who who he is, but I guess his nickname is the Barbarian. So that's his card. But then some cool cards that we got some some nice ones that are actually legitimate, right? Uh, just randomly inserted in, in amongst all the commons and everything else. Like we found, you know, Barry Barkin, uh, Barry Barkin, Barry Larkin rookie card, Carlos Beltran Bowman uh, rookie. Chris Webber rookie that's pretty nice and then of course Tim Wakefield who's pretty popular in this part is his rookie card from Pacific Lanzador Lanzador I guess is his nickname I don't is know is this in Spanish uh yeah. yes there <laughs> okay go. there we go so Lanzador's picture <laughs> I guess nice. that'll be my guess uh, picture. your guess is as good as mine <laughs> I failed Spanish so but that I mean that was some of the funny things I mean we haven't even gone through we saved what we think were, were the good ones might be because we just wanted to go on the periphery for the definitely common uh, ones. Yeah. I have three stacks right here that I brought up from one of those random boxes that we to go through on camera because, you know, it kind of stinks to have just a recap video. You want to see some stuff that where we discover in real time. So I'll take the, the first one and, and you want to take one of these other ones and All we'll right. kind of just see what we can find Ooh, here. we got some plastics in here. Ooh. I just grabbed from the top of one of these random boxes. Eric Carroll's rookie. Oh, Big yeah. deal. <laughs> Mike Felder. Will Cordero. Oh, Peachy. Not his rookie. His second year card, right? Yeah. Second year. There's Dave Winfield. He's a Hall of Famer. Now, why do you put him? Gerald Perry in a plastic sleeve? I don't know. Got some uh, minor league cards. Minor league cards rarely ever pan out. Ooh, here we go. What's this? Oh, the Kellogg's 3D superstars. Ooh. Who are Tim they? Raines, Baker. Baker. So Dusty <laughs> Baker, Chris Chambliss, Amer uh, Tony uh, Ramirez, whatever his name is, and then Ice Esler, Mike Esler. Yeah. So what is this? 82. Hmm. Probably got it in like a cereal box or something. So my stack didn't have much of anything in it. Let's keep going on that. Well, where'd this kid, where'd this 10 year old kid get 1982 cereal boxes from Kellogg's? Right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> Ben Gre look, Ben Gree rookie card, first draft, first round draft pick. Nice. Was he was he was good, right? Yeah, he or was had, just for a moment. Well, yeah, I don't think he panned out. There you go. Oh, look at that! Ryan what is Sandberg. that? It's a Ooh, score masters. score masters. Hold on, this is 1990 score. This is like, this is not in the normal set. This is uh, what is this? I'm gonna have to check this one out. Score master, 1990 score, Ryan Sandberg. Definitely don't have that in my collection already. So 
That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Good good find on that one. Yeah, we got like Tim Hudson here. You know, some some at least better known players, if you will, versus what we just spent <laughs> a couple hours we uh weaving through. These guys, and I have to like these upper deck cards. It's just again a bad design where you can't read them unless you have it perfectly in the light. Cecil Fielder, 1990 Leaf, two of those. Todd Helton, Bazooka, Troy Hawkins. There's OPG Gary Carter. 92 OPG Premier. AJ Berninski. I forget who said, who, uh, was it Ozzy Gian? I forget who was on his team, but they said, like, something about how, like, he was the most hated player. AJ Berninski was the most hated player in baseball. <laughs> and he said, yeah, but when he's on your team, you just hate him a little less. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always true, right? Yeah, I mean, right. I'd say the same thing about Manny Machado. <laughs> like, definitely hate him. <laughs> but if he's on your team, maybe not so much. Bobby Bonilla, 90. Leaf. Remember when they did this for a while for the credit, studio, card the credit cards? Just Why? <laughs> Why was know. that a thing? Were like people are going to go and purchase something out of it? Rene Rocha, Jim Edmonds. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. So there you go. Jim Edmonds, rookie card. Aaron Taylor. Some checklists. Bobby Bonilla. There you so go. That's, that's for your collection. Oh, there. look at that. Peachy, Sean I have like 17 of these. <laughs> but I'll take it. He put it in plastic, too. So that's that's my kind nice, of kid. Nice. And... Mm. So it's funny because, like, these are all semi stars, but there's not one common in here. It's like Oral Hershiser, Will Clark, Bobby Bonilla, Mo Vaughn, Will Clark, Bobby Bonilla, Jay Buner, rookie, like Ron Gant. Yeah, so definitely, at least it's it's. So for those folks watching, I mean, it's, kind of thing. it's definitely better than what we just went through for all the boxes, because the boxes were definitely Mark, common, common, common. Mark Carrier gold card. So it, it gives me That's hope for thing. those boxes as being something where we could find something of interest. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm sure the more we dig into this, we're going to uncover somebody. But here you got some black leaf gold there. Yeah. So. Put those over in our gold our, pile over here. Our gold, our gold rush. Kenny Lofton. What is this? Jason Bray. Like is some it? special kind of card or something? The future is now. Oh, that's yeah. for the 94 upper deck. So yeah. yeah, it's like a little rookie insert, but. Right. More gold. Brian Clutterbuck. <laughs> now we're getting rid of the good guys. But he does have like these Bowman rookies, right? These first year Bowman cards and everything else that, you know, oh, maybe we're bound to. Find somebody. Ron Gant, rookie. Oh, Vernon Wells, nonetheless. He, Vernon Wells was a good player. Eric Harris, a couple rookies there. Oh, Ricky Liday. Ugh. Any Yankee fan remembers this guy. He, yeah. Ugh. A lot of high hopes for that guy back in the day. Yeah, what are these? 1999 transactions. This is tops something. Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer there. Move on. It's 1980. We have a stack of old ones. Here we go. Will Clark. Like Chris Chambliss. Oh, you know, Maglio Ordonez. What? What is this? Oh, second year card. So not quite a Maglio rookie, but second year card here for the upper deck. Nice. Black diamonds, though. That's pretty good. Aaron Boone. Yes? No? Aaron Boone. Nice. Recognizable. As a player, I mean, he Top did okay. Prospect. We can put him, we can Look, put Earl him. Campbell. It's Hall of Famer. It's just there a go. score card, though. Clark, so Spielder, Kenny Lofton. And that was it. That was it from my pile. Oh, you gotta check the backs of the sticker cards. <laughs> That's the key. Here, I'm having nothing worth while there. All right. Yeah. So there you go. That is, you can see, even like, we're not saying we, we found a whole lot of stuff, but look at this giant stack of decent cards coming out of this, plus all these other random ones. So 
Um, looking forward to dive into the rest of it. Who knows what's, what we could find? Could be just about anything. I, at this rate, it looks like it is just about anything. So <laughs> it's just, it should be good. Yes. When you when you start yeah. to you, when you can't wait for the next video, just That's remember right. Chris Farley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let that be the last thing that you guys. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time.